Hi everyone and thanks for joining me all the way down in Australia. So intrepid viewers I adore you. Any new viewers cruising through I hope you like the channel. If you're a Trump voter you must be so proud really. Your heart must swell with pride when you think of that speech on the 4th of July. So Trump was able to remind the nation how the revolution was won by the military occupying the airports in the late 1700s. So how else would future generations know what happened? You need great leaders, do you not? So we're going to see how this great and well-informed leader is going to go over the summer in relation to crises that are inevitably going to happen. Australia has extreme weather conditions too. So every summer is laden with issues. So he's had a honeymoon in the sense of he's got away with his routine neglect and bad behavior, not funding the Puerto Rican recovery. And I'm sure there's people affected by last year's events who still haven't had support. So we're going to look at how the Yeti's going to handle himself and other natural disasters. So let's have a look. I'm going, oops, I'm going back to the right of weight for this. And we'll see the general layout of the summer. I don't normally read on weather as such. So what I'm reading on is how is he and his team going to handle this summer? All right, here we go. Oh, there he is. He's always turned up in, in both his capacities. All right, here we have, I just have something weird on screen. I'll just get rid of that. This is part of a bigger picture, right? The Wheel of Fortune. One interpretation could be his good luck could keep running. It's usually a card of good fortune, but it's also the card of destiny. And there's a certain inevitability uh, about these issues. So there are going to be hurricanes, there are going to be bushfires. So the inevitability that he will have to deal with this issue. There he is as emperor, that's him as president, right? He often turns up for me as the emperor or ironically, the king of pentacles. So we have to separate these two aspects of Trump. Here he is as president, here he is as Donald Trump, playboy to the Western world, only interested in money. So from the point of view of citizens affected by natural disasters, this is saying very loudly and clearly, he will delegate because he's the emperor he doesn't care because he's the king of pentacles. Over this, the five of pentacles. So just getting out with what you can, being out in the cold, or in this case, the heat of summer. So it could be that Trump himself is out in the cold, or it could be people left behind, which is the more likely interpretation, people left behind by his inadequate responses. There is an opportunity, the Knight of Cups is an opportunity to do something creative and different. What on earth does that mean in relation to this question? Trump. What is the Knight of Cups about? What is the Knight of Cups about? Uh, uh, these people are so f 
fundamentally disappointing as co-human beings, you know? Here is an opportunity for a creative and compassionate response, right? That's the Knight of Cups. What is his intention? Is how to keep ripping people off. Ooh, ugly poo, King of Pentacles. He doesn't get any of it. This is what frustrates me, and I'm sure I'm not alone, in the support he has from the Rust Belt in particular. A Manhattan billionaire, real estate developer, I'm here to tell you in the Midwest, is actually not interested in you, the forgotten America. He's forgotten you too. And you were only ever, sad to say, a targeted demographic. Brad Pascal chose you to be the missing demographic to push him over the line. How clever was Brad Pascal? But it's going to keep ripping people off. And I'm hearing, yeah, private companies. This is what happens. When you take big governments and, and starve them of funds and make them small governments, it's part of this drive of the neocons of the 90s and the 2000s, which is why should government pay for this? We'll let a private company pay, you know, build the bridges and do the infrastructure and all of that. Well, the two most recent accidents, that was the Amtrak accident and that Florida pedestrian walkway that collapsed before it was finished, were new projects under these public-private partnerships. We have them in Australia too. And this is the point. So, a private company builds the new freeway. You, the motorist, have to pay $3, $5. Every time you turn a corner, it seems there's another toll. The profits, once again, are private and the debts are public. So when the roads collapse and there's issues, these companies dissolve, they disappear, they change their names, they reinvent themselves in the Seychelles and the government, you, have to bail them out again. <clears throat> Sorry. So, I'm now going to put these cards back and I'm going to try and look a bit more specifically at the type of events that can be expected this summer and let's call it the administration's response. Okay. In the aftermath of Katrina, it was shameful, the response. Shameful. Uh, I just have to say, and regular intrepid viewers will know, I'm not someone who just says Australia is great, why don't you move over here? I do not say that. We are lurching to the right along with the rest of the world. However, when there was a cyclone, not that I think it was just after Katrina and one of our towns, Townsville in Queensland, where I'm from, was flattened, we call them cyclones, by a hurricane. General Cosgrove was brought in from the army. It was amazing logistically what happened very quickly after that. So the word went out for we have the SES, which is like your emergency response crews came in. They came in from every state. That happens in a big event. That wasn't unique. But they put the call out for tradies from every state. So if you're an electrician, a plumber, whatever, we're going to need you in Townsville. They had a central roster where people said, I can do this day to this day, or I can do this week or whatever. General Cosgrove said, these kids have to go to school. That's our first priority. We're rebuilding the school this week. <laughs> and we're, we're putting in demountables for the other schools. We're going to do this, this and this. It was extraordinary. So it can be done. Why? It was done via the government. It was before all these public-private partnerships became automatic. If not, we, the public, would have been charged you know, 10 times as much for some private 
outfit to do it and they wouldn't have done it as well. So, look, sorry, I digress. The USA this summer, what has nature got coming here? I hope you've been raking those forests. All right. It's truth, the pact, change they didn't want, looking elsewhere to start. Good outcome. I'm pleased to report a good outcome. Okay. So, in the centre, the King of Swords, my ex Muller card. Speaking of which, I have to remind you, viewers, Muller's testimony on the 17th. My generic prediction on that is people are going to go to their own usual echo chamber to watch it and hear it. They'll get that interpretation first, the spin in some cases. But it will have a big impact or a bigger impact down the track. There's going to be a delay, like a time warp, literally, between Muller's testimony and the full repercussions of it. But that's not to do with this reading. This is people demanding a response. To me, this is demanding justice. This is people working together and I'm sure Americans are no different from Australians and everyone else. When the chips are down, when there's a genuine crisis, when there's a large scale issue, people pull together. Here we have the unwelcome offer. Underneath this is the unwelcome offer of help. So here you have people working together this is unwelcome. Hmm. That seems very odd. What is that about? So, we look to the top card, which is the Two of Wands. This is a card of business and trade and looking out across the water. I don't like this combination. It's saying to me, again, People naturally pull together in this crisis, but then they're going to be offered something else that isn't quite valid. That could be compensation from insurance companies that either doesn't come through or isn't enough because there's a business aspect to it. There is then the star, and this is always a card of hope and optimism and inspiration. People will pull together and there'll be a starry outcome in that sense as a result. But it's kind of strange given the seriousness of this topic. So, where are my clarifiers? Sorry, if you can hear weird noises, the pug is getting excited because his breakfast is being prepared. And anyone who knows pugs, no, they are ruled by food. So sorry about the background whimpering. So, the American summer and the Trump response. I'm going to pull three cards. I must be fair. Maybe it means he'll step up to the plate and he'll be as generous with um, people who are suffering in the aftermath of natural disasters as he is with his friends. Let's have a look. Trump's response. Okay, so you have the messenger here they are, coming and delivering the message. That's the phone call about a particular issue, whether that's, oh, I'm hearing floods here. Regular viewers will know that's how my intuition works. I hear things 
major flooding, I'm hearing deluge. So that could be the flooding itself being an issue or the flooding often is worse in these things and sometimes the initial impact of something. So flooding is going to be epic. Here's the weirdest card. There's a jealousy here. So in other words, given the star card, I think someone, like I was just describing our General Cosgrove who stepped into the breach, I think someone's going to take command who is effective. What's the result of that for Trump? He's going to be jealous of any praise they get. What an infantile, ghastly response. And speaking of infantile, this is a very childlike figure. I think Trump's going to take to his bed. So we've all been saying for a while, stress takes its toll, obviously, particularly for 73. But there's a childlike quality to this. This is Trump sulking in bed by the end of summer. How weird is that? It's very weird, viewers. But I'm not a, a totally surprised by this. The jealousy and then the retreat and the sulking. How pure is this man? All right. So I'm going to end it there because um, there's so much else to do. But have to do an update on Barr, who is seriously not looking well. And I did promise you my critique of Kamala Harris. So see you soon.